Welcome to My Brother, My Brother, Mean Advice Show for the Modern Era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. Good evening. Oh, oh no. Okay. Please be seated. Oh, I, 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 I got to say thank you to my team. Uh-huh. Wow. And I want to say thank you to everyone who worked so hard on this campaign, this effort. It felt uh-huh. like me, Griffin McElroy, the youngest brother, wasn't even like one entity because our hearts had merged. Okay. But mm. as we all know, it was looking good there in the beginning. Mm-hmm. But things started to change colors, which is confusing to me. And so I do, I am afraid I am here tonight to concede my presidential bid. And I did oh. my, and I wanted to say out there, I love my wife and God and my son, my kid. And I just, I worked so hard, but it, off beans, it didn't happen this time around. Uh, uh, Mr. McRae, uh, Travis McRae of the Travis McRae Monthly. Yeah. Um, what party were you running with? I didn't hear a lot about your party rock, party rock, party rock anthem. The party rock anthem party, or is it just called party rock anthem? Have you heard the song? It's not I've called party. That... It's not called party rock anthem party, is it? That would be that would so. Just... Your political party was next, the song. Next, okay. next question. This is next question. Uh, yeah, you're promised to send every American. Fa- I'm, I'm sorry. Sure. Please introduce yourself. Oh, hi. This is Justin McElroy from Quibi. Um, you're. Uh, you said that you were going to. <laughs> Uh, uh, send every American family 100,000, and I have it here in my notes. Hold on one second. I'm rubbing two Great Wolf Lodge gift cards together. Right. Uh, 100,000 smackaroonies, you mm-hmm. said. Sure. Now, yeah, I was surprised that people didn't give me more votes for that. Because that's a considerable sum of money. And I... I um, a follow-up question. Travis McRae, Space Camp. Yeah, um, were you actually going to ever do that? Oh! Next question. Hmm. Okay. I was uh, gonna. I was gonna stop war. I was gonna not do. I was, wasn't planning on doing war. Yeah, you said you weren't planning on doing war anymore. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to. It's. Uh, I, I thought about it for a while, and like, I get it. I, you know, you see, Black Hawk Down, Zero Dark, Zero Dark Thirty, um. Avatar, Tom, Avatar, the the last Airbender by M Night Shyamalan. You see, like all these military flicks, and you're like, "Fuck yes!" Call of Duty, another big one for me. And you more see like those, Call like, of Duty. Yeah, you see those, and you're like, "Fuck yes!" But then you think about it, and you're like, it's really just a lot of sort of people hurting. So um, mm-hmm. I wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna do that one. Apparently, I thought that was another hot ticket item, but um, hi, uh, Steve Kurnacki here, at MSNBC. Hi. Oh, yes. Hi. Hi, I've been moving some of these numbers around. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, I have. Hold, hold on. Yeah. Okay. Yes. This is, if you look up here, where Griffin's opponent, Mr. Peanut, currently has 50,000 votes and Griffin had eight. But if you look at these percentages, the rate these ballots are coming in, Griffin, I think there's every chance you are going to pull through with a, a, a very viable performance here against Mr. Peanut. And, and let me tell you, this, this, regardless of how this goes, I'm going to take this. Uh-huh. Wait. I, I'm going to yeah. take. I'm going to. No, sorry. Okay. Go say it again. Okay. That was my producer. I'm sorry. Uh, I was actually getting some incorrect information. Oh. Uh, it's actually down to seven now. Oh, he lost a vote. You lost one vote. You didn't okay. pick up a bunch. You actually lost one. Well, like I was saying before you interrupted m- me. A political guy. So think about that. I was saying I'm going to take this case to the extreme court. I'm going to take this to the extreme court because he's a fucking baby. I'm sorry for cussing. I know I'm on now, MSNBC, CNN, is, and all the big ones, but he's a baby. Is extreme court the one where all disputes are settled via uh, foam jousting rods like in American Gladiators? Uh, yes, uh, and then we have to do the white. Now, I course. made a joke like that, and you kicked me out of your press conference. Well, because you phrased it wrong. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I cursed. I know we're on MSNBC. Yeah, we're on TV. I think that one, that one's not going to win me any Rust Belt votes. Now, uh, sorry, Travis McRoy, third Travis McRoy. Yeah. Um, now that you have conceded, would you accept another position in the administration? Well, I didn't the- quite concede, did I? I didn't say it, did I? Oh. Uh, do you concede? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> A little mystery. 
Yeah. So. Uh, oh, that makes you very intriguing. Now, now I oh. think you're very attractive because of this mystery you've created. And uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell hi, you, you didn't. Excuse me. Yeah. Yes. Excuse yeah. me, mm-hmm. Justin McElroy. Uh, you're interrupting I the am, political uh, guy again. So think yeah, about that. Sorry, I am uh, attempting to abstract this bit so it doesn't become so pointed as to become in poor taste on Monday, since we have no idea if Monday will ever come uh-huh. at yes. this yes. point, at yeah, uh-huh. this junction, at this particular junction. Now, so I have, have anything... uh, just oh, Travis my... McRoy interrupting Justin McRoy interrupting the political guy. Yeah. Um, Candidate Griffin, do you think that the gargoyles of the gargoyle cartoon fit into the whole of the fighting mutant animals with abs genre, or are they a separate kind of entity? Well, if you read my policy platform, you would know that I do categorize the gargoyles right alongside the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and... The, the Samurai Pizza Cats. So... Do you include the Biker Mice from Mars and the Mighty Ducks in there, sir? Go to my website. Go to my website, uh, which I won't say out loud because that means Justin will have to buy another website. But go to my website and you'll see where I stand on Big Bad Beetleborgs, VR uh-huh. Trooper. Cowboys and Move Mesa. Yes. Uh, excuse me. I Excuse me. Justin McElroy. Um, yeah. Is my brother. My name is Travis McElroy. Whoa! I'm, no, I don't know much about pot. What is the Rust Belt? <laughs> I would really Good embarrassed question. to ask. Right, right. So there was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad you asked this question. I'm so fucking glad you asked this. What's your name, old guy? My, uh, are you asking me my name? Yeah. What's it's your Travis, name? You who asked Travis, it? It's Travis McElroy. My brother Justin McElroy, of course, knows what the Rust Belt is. Yeah. But I, I, I didn't know. So oh, I wanted look, to ask. You won't tell me. This is such a smart little question, little guy. And I'm proud of you for asking it. I'm a lawyer, so please don't talk down to me. Okay, so anyway, back in the day, there was a few states that did a lot of blacksmithing. Mm. But it rained, didn't it? What states would you say those were, uh, sir? The Mr. upper Griffin. ones. <laughs> the upper ones. Mr. Rackroy, if you could just name some of the states in that Rust Belt. Oh, uh, sure. I'd love to hear kind of where you're at. I feel pretty certain Michigan. But Michigan mm. is on the border that of the country. Right, it? It's on the border <laughs> of the country. So what kind of belt could that be? That's you not know a belt. I mean? That's a hat at it's that a, point. It's a rust hat. I guess it doesn't sound as if good. If it's a Bi- belt, it's got to be in the middle. That's why Florida is called the dick shoe. And that's great. Bi- Bible belt? That makes sense because it's a belt around the pants of our Florida penis. Yep. Yep. Hi. hi. Another McRoy brother here. Uh, do you Which think it's one? embarrassing? What? Which one? Gillip. Uh, hi, Gillip McElroy. Um, do you think it's embarrassing that apparently Charleston, West Virginia, which is just 40 miles from our hometown, is apparently part of the Rust Belt and you were not huh. aware of this fact? Do you find that embarrassing? Wait, just Charleston, though? Not Huntington? No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. We didn't you make have it. to have had production at one point. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, well, I didn't not say it wasn't. Mm. So I do concede, and I'm done. But now, but you, ca- but catch me, but catch me out there on the trail. Hi, uh, Travis McRoy, Travis McRoy Monthly. Go ahead. I've decided Go to ahead. throw my hat in the ring, and now I'm running too. Get on up here, I, then. Get on I'm, up here. Okay. Then. <laughs> Thank you. All right, excuse me. Hold on, I'm getting on stage. I'm a political guy now, and you can't interrupt me. You can't talk to us political guys like that. And now, as a political guy, I'm willing to give every American family one million dollars. Well, that's if so much they more can, than me. If they can find me. Oh yeah, rat race. I've given you all the clues. This guy <laughs> rules. Now I- you'll have to find me. Second place. Get to Jelly Belly Factory that I do not own. All right. Third place, Big Smooch. Oh, it's, but it's, now it's good. The momentum's gone, I feel like. Well, depends on how much you value a smooch. So right now, I guess, Justin, you're the Thanks. only person in the room. Vote. Hey, excuse me. My name's Roger Dinkins. I built that stage you are standing on. It's not rated for two people. You gotta get out. Oh, no. Oh! Oh God! Oh God! No! It's taking so long. Oh no! Why did we build the stage so tall? Oh God Almighty in heaven of Jesus! No! Falling on me! I'm ruined! <laughs>